know the joke of the girl who bought train tickets to go to the Taj on a Friday, the only day when it's closed? And then when she changed the tickets for a day earlier, she overslept and didn't go to the Taj in the end. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. I didn't hear my alarm clock this morning. I was supposed to be in Agra right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're not going to the Taj today. Want to hear another joke? Just last night when I was about to fall asleep, I was thinking by myself, uh, I wish I had more time to spend in this bed. It's such a nice hotel bed. Universe! I did not mean missing the Taj Mahal and spending that time in bed instead. <laughs> no. For the people shouting at their screen right now, you can still make it, book a day tour. No, listen, I'm not going to be one of those movies where they keep trying to get to a destination and everything fails. In my mind, so I failed two times going to the Taj. So the first time I booked the train tickets on a Friday, the Taj is closed on Friday, you can go to the Taj on a Friday. The second time right now, I overslept and missed my train. So the third time, what I'm imagining in my head right now is booking a day tour, getting a flat tire and being stuck at the side of the road for the rest of the day. No, I'm just going to listen and stay in my bed. All right, I'm only human, so I am disappointed. We're not going to the Taj today. However, I do feel sick, feeling like a shiver. My voice is not back. I still have the dry cough, so I'm just going to take it real easy today. And one thing uh, that will always make me come out of bed is food. So the meal I had last night, chole, pacholi, something like that, it has been haunting me. It was so good, so delicious. And one of you advised me to look on zomedo.com instead of TripAdvisor for restaurants in the area. The first suggestion on that app was a restaurant specialized in that dish. So yes, I'm hunting it down. If you ever thought you had traffic issues back at home, you should experience Delhi for one day and then see how you feel about it afterwards. Just a random Delhi side street. I love how they like display the vegetables and nuts and stuff that they're selling on these little carts, these wooden carts, I love that. Looks so cool. All right, so I didn't succeed immediately in tracking the restaurant down, but I found something. I found some good food. <laughs> I have nothing to complain. This is a veg biryani and this is shahi paneer. Even though I just ate, I love the street food vendors. I wish we had this in Amsterdam. It's so awesome to just be able to buy food on every corner of the street. I was just walking around and I found the restaurant. Yes, winning in life. This is where I'm having dinner. Maybe this is a little bit better illustration of Delhi's traffic. <laughs> what I was telling before. Let's try to cross the street. <laughs> Look at the ox. <laughs> I just saw beautifully decorated. Oh, here's another one. Let's just cross the street and try not to die. <laughs> uh, okay. Hashtag follow the locals, follow the locals, follow the locals. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no. Oh my gosh, okay. Follow the dude, follow the dude. Try not to die. <laughs> it's always an adventure. I just walked into a sweet store because I still want to buy some and make a video trying more Indian sweets. It's just so hard to choose which ones. They all look so good. Look at all the colors. Ugh, it's so hard to choose. I want to try everything. I'll pick some up tomorrow and then I'll make a video trying Indian sweets. Look at this. What is this machine? This is so interesting. <laughs> they have like all these, I don't know. I don't want to say old fashioned. Let's say vintage machines and carts and stuff like that and it feels like I literally travel back in time. I love Delhi, seriously. It's like 
the Wild West Mad Max City, which is perfect for adventure. Look. It's so cool. Go Delhi. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Look what I got. The mango chili soft serve. Oh, this is so good. I'm taking this to my room. In bed with a good ice cream. It's almost as good as visiting the Taj, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I agree. I'm just trying to make the best of it. <laughs> yeah, I took a nap. I feel better. Let's go see if we can eat that delicious meal. So here's a strange plot twist. The restaurant where I wanted to eat it, they served me like this pre-packaged chole bhature and I was like, no, not happening. So instead, I found this street stall on the corner of Bikiner Suites and I'm having it fresh. That's right. All right, so this is for the Dutchies. Uh, deze man's dochter woont in Lelystad. What's her name? My name. Ne your daughter's name? My daughter's name? Yeah. Deepika Bhargwa. Deepika Samarwa. Deepika Bhargwa? Deepika Samarwa. Okay, you can say hi. You can say hi to your daughter. Okay. Dus als iemand haar kent, Deepika uit Lelystad, haar vader zegt hoi. <laughs> Wat een toeval. I just found a supermarket with these ginormous boxes of my favorite Indian snack. This is going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bought three boxes which equals six of those small packages. They're my souvenirs, don't judge me. Also, I thought about buying five, but I just, you know, thought three is okay. <laughs> Maybe I will go back for five. I don't know. It's so good. Seriously, you have to try this if you're in India. It's like mind blowing because i was just being stalked by an older dude it was seriously the creepiest stalker i have ever had ah there's a crazy deli i know 